Okay, this is going to be my last review before I see Mission Impossible Fallout, I promise. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, today I'm going to do what do you, well, you know the drill, another movie review, and it's on a movie from 2018, and that is Ant-Man the Wasp. Now, the plot of this movie is where Ant-Man's back, and he has a new partner named, who's named Cope Van Dyke, played by Evangeline Lilly, who's a superhero called the Wasp, who has kind of the same suit as Ant-Man, except she has wings. And they have to save her um, Janet Van Dyke from an alternate dimension called the, qu the quantum realm so ant-man and wasp have to do whatever they can to try and save her and be successful in it so to do their job so that's pretty much the plot of this movie i had a lot of fun with this movie yeah i know it's a marvel universe movie but how serious can you get with ant-man really ant-man's kind of a childish concept when you think about it. a guy with a suit and he shrinks that's like the stupidest thing ever but just like the first movie it works the acting's really good. I thought Paul Rudd did really good as Ant-Man. Uh, like he did in the first one. Um, Evangeline Lilly was the Wasp, and she did really good. And Evangeline Lilly's Canadian, like me, if you didn't know. Yeah, I'm Canadian, if you don't know. Um, and Michael Douglas, he's still great. And Michael Pena. A lot of the action scenes, like the first, are just so ridiculous, but they're really done well. It's, it does have its funny moments, and yeah, it's a fun movie. Was it as good as Infinity War? Almost, I'd say, but yeah, it's nowhere as great as Deadpool 2, but yeah, I enjoyed Ant-Man the Wasp, so that's my review of Ant-Man the Wasp. See you next time.